Balmora. Home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... he was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. The Imperial occupation has helped your career considerably. I never wanted this, but any other candidate may have been tainted by the Empire. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. Restoring the government will be no easy matter. I have a plan. It's a little... unconventional. Hi! It's... it's... it's madness! You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything! That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks. He's something of a blunt instrument. At least this Zenith is standing up to the Empire. I need his knowledge and resources, but first, we have to find him. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two Perspectives Are Aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. You'd be surprised how persuasive I can be. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long. Providing you with the highest level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. And I have not done... I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private, and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. Zenith speaking, what do you want? Watch your tone. I am a Jedi Master, and Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. Okay. But what do you want? We share a goal. To free Balmora's people. Ty Corden is ready to rebuild the government. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. I'll expect you to hold up your end of the deal. Expect what you like. I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem. But he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me? Then we talk politics. A child could do this. Don't take long. This mission is vital. <laughs> what a sourpuss. Not everyone has your gracious disposition, dear Holiday. We'd better do his little chore. First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. You know this isn't the life you should be leading. Don't try to confuse me. My path is clear. My family has always lived here, watching Republic interference hold Balmora back. But Darth Lacris can lead us to glory. The Empire has enslaved families across Balmora. Did Darth Lacris spare yours? They... Serving the Empire is a privilege. I am proud they have the chance. You're young and strong. Defy Darth Lacris and help the people you love. Never mind this Jedi preaching. Ceres, kill her! No. I must... I need time to think on this. 
I will stand aside for you, Jedi. Find another way to help my people. You'll pay for that, Jedi! Your drivel just cost Darth Lacris an apprentice, and I'll be blamed! Whatever you came for, I'll never... What the... Jedi, are you alright? The bleeding is moderate, but you need treatment at once. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Hmm. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. You will not commit murder in front of me. This is war. He's the enemy. This man enslaves Balmorans, so he dies. No. He's a wounded captive and must be treated fairly. Jedi foolishness. Okay. I will send men to capture him. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. I want to hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile, and we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. But we both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. Without our strategy, you're just a radical throwing bombs and writing slogans. Whatever works. What's Ty's alternative? Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone, in return for donations of weapons and credits. They must be made to realize that they only exist at the Empire's whim. And they'll be eager to change that. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. If the Empire finds out, the corporations will be purged. Which they understand, so they're driving a hard bargain. Director Fenn is head of Troida, and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrik he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I'm sure I can make this Director Fenn see reason. The Empire watches everyone important. Fenn will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droid's memory. Director Fenn, tried him. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris's anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. What kind of favor? The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credit. The anguish of the scientist, burdened with petty, I mean, always vigilant against evil. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Companies like yours need the conscience of a Jedi. Still, that is the price of our help. Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. I would never leave. I have information for you. How did you know he'd gone anywhere? Imperials used that record vault. Monitoring devices helped me ambush him. Seems Director Fenn has a wife and daughter in Sobrik. My men know where to find them. Mention that, and Fenn will agree to anything. I can handle this without threatening innocent people. Innocent? He's an Imperial collaborator. But it's your decision. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? How about instead we send just a few Jedi Overseers? 
It would please the Council, and be good for your image. Yes. In fact, that could boost our sales considerably. Here. A small token of our goodwill. Now, when the Empire invaded, we hid stockpiles of arms, secret blueprints, credit accounts. They're now yours. And Ty's. I'm sure Ty will find a good use for them. This password will let you access terminals in Silbrook to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Silbrook. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just treat him gently. Thank you, Jedi. Defying Darth Lacris has been quite the adventure. Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Sobrick's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work and... Bang! I'm working for her. Help me and I'll protect you from Darth Lacris. You can't stay here forever, Jedi. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. My training taught me to manage multiple thoughts. That could be useful to you. I don't know. I might accidentally start unraveling the complexities of the universe or something. Okay, I'll try it. Close your eyes and listen. See your thoughts as moving lights in the darkness. Wow. I feel... I think I could process two streams at once. Give me your data. There. Decrypted, sent, and Dark Lacris is none the wiser. I appreciate it, Jedi. Huh. Maybe now I can get drunk and work at the same time. If you're quite finished enlightening him, can we go? We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. Oh, and Master Seal Bakarn wanted to speak to you. Yes. I hear you negotiated with the corporations, allowing us to supervise their weapons research. An admirable effort, but I wonder if a few Jedi overseers can restrain them. This way the corporations are supervised, but we keep their goodwill. I see you've thought carefully on this. I trust your judgment. I have Core World's business to attend to. Go well. With the Corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current President Galtha is ill. He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Galtha publicly signs over power to me, becoming President will be difficult. Do we know where Darth Lacris is holding President Galtha? She keeps him out of sight. There are rumors. Nothing concrete yet. Trouble. And Foreman and Sobrek just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocents. Set a trap for a Jedi kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Maybe Darth Lacris doesn't know how many followers you have. Together we could catch her off guard. Good idea. We must make sure those people are safe first. We draw off the Imperials, you grab the civilians, right? Sounds possible. May the Force be with us. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. We got the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. 
Force fields are blocking the entrance. Your clumsiness could cost a lot of lives, Zenith. Maybe let me finish. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down. The facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. Cut down on your Jedi. I won't let Dark Lacris win. We placed all our concussion charges around the facility. Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out now. How can you risk all these people for this vendetta of yours? Life under Dark Lacris isn't worth living. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. He needs to know. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? We saved the people inside. But Zenith's last communication said he was being overwhelmed. I was afraid of this. I hope he's safe. Someone's coming. You should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. I could have died in that facility, along with dozens of innocents. I was killing the enemy. You want to yell, okay. Just listen to this man first. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive? Or Darth Lacris's accomplice? I... don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. This knowledge could save Balmora. I hope so. We just want our lives back. Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. I don't want you involved. You're dangerous and irresponsible. I'll be good. Plus, you need me. Only I know the factory's defense shutdown codes. You won't reach the President without me. You can come, but we have a higher purpose than revenge. I'll try to remember. Factory's big. I'll go on ahead and scout. Meet me at this position outside. There's a beacon there. Input this code, and I'll find you. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold. And Darth Lacris might be expecting you. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the president. I see no need for hesitation here. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. I never get between a man and his obsession. See you at the ship. Let's go, Jedi.
Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. More meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations, too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galtha. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even Thord, he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. This movement is larger than a single person. We're hidden across Balmora. Thousands waiting in secret. Then I shall cull the citizens of Balmora. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the President sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his citizens' committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Ah, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars, all round, blind, no, too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power, Lacris knew. No, the Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it. Can't be. Can't be. Go away. Feared this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant. Hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though. Wouldn't last long, and it might kill him. The tie will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. Deceit and torture. You're no better than Darth Lacris. How dare you? I bled for Balmora. If Balmorans see President Galtha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. Ty escaped Imperial assassination for years. Ty himself proves there's hope. If you're wrong, we lose everything. 
I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrik. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? His mind is irretrievably broken from torture. No, this can't be. He's... He's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Galthe is incapacitated. As senior official, Ty, you inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension to the office of president. I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. Both Zenith and I made great sacrifices to bring you here. I haven't forgotten, Jedi. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? Make the most of this. I won't always be around to bail you out. Jedi has a point. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. I can't imagine you settling down to paperwork and election campaigning. I have fresh ideas. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. That's not what you said when you needed Zenith's followers to die for you. You become president. My men get unmarked graves. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hmm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. You shoot anyone without my order. And there will be trouble. Think the Rebellion's out of my system. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. Nadia, I know you're new to space travel, but you can't go around pulling pieces off a starship. It just came off in my hand. The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? The Empire knows a communications array when it sees one. Maybe, but I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up, so it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, Attis Station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. Thank you for bringing this information to me. They're still deciding the best course of action. <laughs> Isn't that what they accuse the Republic of always doing? Attis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. If I do this, I hope Attis Station will be ready to share its knowledge. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? 
Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But father, Adestatium is built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. If anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. You won't have to protect me. Promise. Just focus on saving the station and our scientists. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson.